Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Okay. The Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords here. You're you're very discerning right now. Um, I feel like something is being revealed, okay? Um, or for some of you, you're making a final judgment about a person that maybe you've been getting some type of vibes about. This could be good or bad. I'm not sure yet. Um, but you have here the Two of Cups, the Justice, and the Judgment. I mean, wow. And the Ten of Swords is here. So there's some type of cycle that's coming to an end. Now, the truth is, though, for some of you, this you could be closing out a chapter with something or someone moving into like a new situation. But for some of you, you could be choosing to stay in a situation, but the dynamic of the situation is changing. That's the energy that I'm getting. This feels like the dynamic of something is changing. You may not necessarily be going like breaking up with someone. And this is not everyone's story, of course. Don't force it to fit. But it just feels here like the Ten of Swords. It's like the worst is over. It's what I'm getting. I'm not really getting deception and betrayal. I'm getting more so like, okay, the worst is over. You know, um, with the song that I was hearing, though, you, you really might, might just want to go out and enjoy yourself right now. Really allow yourself to get a peace of mind. The Queen of Swords, though, is someone who is very, very truthful, very honest, very direct. Okay. Um, this is a very strong willed, strong headed person. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like you guys too, you're starting to really communicate what you want. So for some of you, like I said, the dynamic of the situation could be changing. You could be communicating very soon that either you want some type of partnership or you don't want it. Um, I feel like I, because I'm hearing the terms and conditions. So for some of you now, it's like, even if you're not in some type of relationship right now, you may just be starting to get very clear about what exactly you're trying to manifest. You're now coming up with your own manifestation list, like I said, and you're thinking about your deal breakers, your negotiables, um, things of, of that sort. So this is whether you're single or you are involved with someone, whether it's something that's long term or it's casual. It just feels like there's a revamp happening, like seven of... Um, wands is here you're starting to really stand up for yourself as well um if you've been dealing with the type of energy some kind of like stuck stagnant even stubborn like energy whether it's coming from you or a person that is in your energetic field right now it's like you're putting an end to this the ten of swords it's like you feel as though you had too much going on it's like you get right or you get left and that has really just been the energy um i think i mentioned in the reading that i posted earlier that um we had a Neptune retrograde that just ended yesterday. So Neptune is now direct in Pisces. So of course, we know Pisces is very in intuitive. Neptune is all about dreams, illusions, fantasies. It's like the, the fantasy play, the, the false hope, the fake, you know, promises, whatever, all of that is coming to an end now. And for some of you, I feel too, it's like if you were okay with something in before, you know, now you're you're deciding like no i'm not okay with it so if this is a situation before perhaps if you were um i'm gonna get tell you the scenarios i'm picking up right now let's say for instance if you and someone have been um legally separated and you're just like well we're just kind of figured out you're ready now to file for a divorce if you and a person have um been casual you're now you're ready for a commitment you know, for some of you, if you've been single, maybe you're ready for a commitment. If you've been married, you may want to be single. It, it, it's things like that. Um, what you thought you could accept, you're realizing, oh, you can't, you, you can't accept it and you, you're not going to accept it. The four of um, swords is here. It will probably be good for you to rest, to retreat, take some time out for yourself. Okay. Um kind of take a step back from a person or a situation here to 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 reflect and figure out exactly what you want and i feel like that's what a lot of you are doing if this isn't you you could have a person right now that is doing this with you you could have a person um who is taking some time out right now to really figure out what they may want from you or 
you know, because I don't know, for some of you, it may be romantic. It could be a business partnership or whatever. And I feel like it's very important that you allow yourself and whoever this other person is that is involved in this situation to have that time. Okay, let's see. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. The Emperor. Wow. Okay. And here's the Seven of Swords. Okay, so... The Ten of Swords, the Emperor, and I see the Seven of Swords, and behind it is the Page of Pentacles and the Devil. I don't exactly like this energy, okay? Um, this could be many different things. For some of you, once again, though, it's like there's a cycle here with an Emperor, okay? This could be a masculine. This person could be deceptive. Um, this person could be breadcrumbing you in some type of way. This could, be, and, and I'm I'm trying to even do a better job, you guys, of trying to read from from all the possible angles that I, that I can see. Yeah, sometimes when you see the Seven of Swords, this type of energy, it could absolutely be a person. They're just playing around with you. They're playing the field. They're lying, cheating, scheming, scamming whatever but for me because of what i've noticed recently in the collective you also could be dealing with for some of you a person who you may be assuming the worst that this person is being deceptive but with the seven of swords the ten of swords i mean this is hold on let me see this could be some kind of deception or betrayal but this also could be some type of oppression as well I'm, I'm for some it feels like for some of you you could be dealing with a person who has been dealing with some type of codependency bad habits they've been oppressed they could have just some kind of issues obstacles challenges there could be more healing work for this person to do so the page of pentacles here maybe you're receiving what seems like bare minimum a small offer this person could be try, trying very hard to hide from you the fact that right now they don't have a lot to offer and this could be due to the fact that maybe this person was actually betrayed they could have been stabbed in the back something could have happened to them okay this person in the past maybe they were um you know still in operating out of their own ego and shadow they could have gotten in a situation and they could have taken a major loss because you have the knight of cups is here and the world so the world usually speaks of there being a completion of some kind of cycle and it usually speaks also of like some kind of success so it's like this could be a person that wants to come to you that has good intentions but quite frankly it feels like this person is coming out of something very difficult of their own then you have the chariot card. So this is you either choosing to move on away from this person or this person is trying to make the proper strides towards you. Okay. Um, but it has just been difficult. Okay. I felt like in the past somebody got tempted and, you know, and was involved in some kind of situation. I'm hearing, I heard specifically they settled in some type of situation and maybe they've met you now and you're in this queen of swords energy you're, you're not taking any type of crap from anybody um i do feel like you may want to try and be gentle and kind with whoever is in your life or entering your life because you know it's never good for us to really judge a person's um life story based on the chapter that we walk in on you just never know what a person is going through what they're coming out of you know and you don't know what they're about to go into either you know um so always give people some benefit of doubt but if you know for you know of course if you're someone you know someone is just backstabbing you betraying you get out but um this isn't really what that feels like to me this just feels like somebody is at, at, like at the at the tail end of their own karmic cycle but well, let's see these cards are, are big but <laughs> so i have to shovel them this way. four swords here somebody is healing somebody is healing and then you have the ace of wands we are in the pre-shadow phase right now of mercury retrograde so things could seem like they are slowing down mercury retrograde is always a time for you to take a step back to to rest to retreat to assess and evaluate exactly what has happened to look at all of your repeated cycles your habits your patterns um to figure out what you need to learn 
in order to move into the ace of wands which is, which is a passionate new beginning a lot of you it's like there is some type of creative spark that's about to come okay the ace of wands the three of pentacles and the and then the death card here four of cups and the hermit so yeah it looks like right now you're you're turning something down with a the person there it, it looks like there's a partnership that you may be turning down you have the ace of wands here there is an opportunity for growth here something creative like a new beginning you're inspired to do something and here's the three of pentacles it's like you may be inspired right now to collaborate with someone or to work on, on like a, a personal or professional project of your own it's like you're wanting to work towards some type of goal but then we have the death card here the death death you know doesn't it, it signifies a, an ending but with every ending comes a new beginning okay so there is some type of transition here you're 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 ending something either with this person or like i said the the, the current structure or dynamic of a situation with someone in order to make something for new make space for something new now what's coming new could be with this person or it could be just you alone or with a new person take it how it resonates for your situation what is this death card about here because there is an there's there, there's a major shift or change coming okay we have the two of cups here the justice and the judgment judgment always is about also you know looking over a situation with some type of compassion and understanding the importance of forgiveness for some of you yeah you're moving away from a person you forgive them you understand that they were in your life for you know a season a reason but maybe not a lifetime but for some of you it's something here it could actually have great potential but you're just kind of going through a rough patch right now yeah the two of wands is here a decision has to be made or a decision has been made the king of wands so you could be dealing with a fire sign person someone could have fire and scorpio on their chart for sure you have the king of wands of tower and the six of pentacles wow i have the five of pentacles five of cups the five of wands here Mm. this is a major change i feel like this is the same person i feel like the six of pentacles being here if there has been some kind of issue with equal give and take okay because the page of pentacles was out here before if there's been issues around equal give and take with the queen of swords being here with the tower i do feel like there is some type of um conversation this could even be an argument that comes about I, I, this is very very truthful um communication coming up about boundaries about what you have been willing to accept and what you're no longer willing to accept the king of wands here it's like there is somebody here who has a very strong powerful energy they're very confident but if if sounds to me like the queen of swords here you're telling somebody like you really need to get into your masculine energy and make some major changes with the tower and the death card here this is the queen of swords is telling this king of wands person you're gonna have to take charge here you're gonna have to make some changes or this is just gonna be a problem the three of swords is here yeah somebody has recognized that there, there's some type of um unresolved trauma some healing somebody still needs to do or there's an interference the two of cups why is the two of cups here oh these cards are so big my hand can't fit them the two of cups you have the knight of swords wow the queen of pentacles queen of cups and the five of wands yeah it's too much going on here i don't like it it doesn't feel bad to me i'll be honest it doesn't feel bad it just feels like decisions have to be made with the knight of swords being here and the two of cups this is someone um queen of pentacles and a queen of cups so yeah somebody could be addressing a situation that concerns a third party with the five of wands 
this has been coming out a lot like uh, apparently there's quite a few people who are have not been putting up boundaries with friends family ex-lovers or whatever and i feel like a lot of people are choosing who may have like i said at some point been like you know oh, okay it's so it's okay or whatever it's now like no it's not Somebody could, you know, there could be a, a male masculine who has like a female friend or something like that. You could be a divine feminine. And you're just like, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't I don't like the relationship or the connection that you have with this person, with this person that you work with. It's something here that you're like, no, I, I'm not going for the ace of swords is here. You're like, I have mental clarity. I know the truth about the situation. Yeah. Nine of swords, eight of swords. You're like, and I feel like. Whatever this communication is or this download, it has you and another person a little bit stressed out. There's something something confrontational that's coming up. It feels to me. With the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands, there's some type of conflict, chaos, competition, jealousy. And the Knight of Swords, this is a very chaotic energy that's coming in. And, and it has to do, of course, with somebody having a difference of opinion. I feel like, again, this comes out, it seems like it's been coming out every day for the last week. Somebody has already expressed to a person that they don't like something that they're doing and it involves a third party. And whoever this is, they, they are not understanding it. <laughs> the Eight of Swords, though, it's like... Somebody is just stuck. You have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is a feminine and masculine, both having stress and anxiety about this situation. The Ace of Cups. So justice, there's going to be like balance. Something is going to be made fair. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And then Temperance. Okay, so I, I feel like there's going to be some type of resolution in this situation. The Knight of Wands in the reverse with the Ace of Cups with Justice. Justice and Temperance are both out here. So Libra or Sagittarius could be of significance. Okay, especially with the Knight of Wands and the Temperance card being out here. The Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. The Hangman. Somebody has had an epiphany. Somebody wants to make sure that they're fair in this situation. Um, they may not have really... Um, I'm sorry, guys. If you heard like a sort of like a white noise, I had my little heater on. <laughs> sorry about that. I literally just realized that it's been on. I hope it hasn't um, made it difficult for you to hear me thus far. Ace of Cups. So somebody is communicating that, you know, there is love here. They're happy. There's peace. There's contentment. There's joy. But there has been a third party energy here. And somebody is, is start, yeah, the lovers. Somebody with the Seven of Cups has been acting as if something was okay. or And I feel like if this is a relationship, this is you and another person who have been going with the flow, acting as if something is okay. It seems like you're reaching a place in your relationship now where it's time for you to actually have some type of rules and boundaries set. It, it's, it's time for some kind of checkpoint. I feel like this is two people who are... Honestly, what I really feel is like there's some kind of jealousy that's coming up now because it's sort of that, you know, hey, it's you for me, me for you. So who is this other person? Who is this friend, this family member or whomever else that is still playing such a major role or part in your life? Like somebody is making it clear that another person, you need to make the proper space for this person. And this could be you. You could still be holding on to a situation or dealing with a friend, a family member 
or you know an ex-lover or something like that and you have a new, a new energy or someone that's currently in your life now that's making it clear hey you need to clear your energetic field and pathway for me to be here so that there can actually have so there can be equal give and take here is what i'm getting judgment and then the two of pentacles exactly somebody has to make a decision like you up you down you in or you out you know because somebody is constantly trying to juggle knight of pentacles and this juggling what it is is this indecisiveness is the reason why something is moving so fast not in the cups somebody already knows what makes them happy but they're still dealing with this indecisive energy they're still dealing with this feeling of being sad or defeated and this has something to do probably with the person's past i feel like there's a masculine here who is um considering offering a, a major commitment to someone but this person because of the fact that they're still overcoming some kind of deception or betrayal or just going through their own karma they're still a little hesitant six of cups yeah something from this person's oh this is <laughs> Something from this person's past has left them feeling very defeated. But this is wrapping up with the world card. Six of swords, yeah. You will be able to move on to peaceful, calm waters away from this three of swords energy. This is somebody still dealing with some kind of heartache or pain. And that's, you know, Mercury retrograde coming in. I feel like someone right now could, you know, be feeling a little bit nostalgic, thinking about like, okay... This is what happened in the past. And I feel that someone now is about to finally connect the dots and realize that the reason why they haven't been giving their all to a situation or the reason why they're constantly experiencing, you know, this phobia of commitment or being completely transparent or vulnerable or giving up control is because of something that happened to them in the past. And oftentimes, of course, you know, sometimes it's harder, especially for men to admit that they've been hurt, that they, they're wounded from something. The chariot is here, though. There, there will be forward movement. Wow, six of wands. There will be forward movement. There will be victory and success in this situation. The moon is here. Because what has been hidden, someone's deep, dark, hidden secrets and or emotions is finally about to come to the surface. So this is great. Um, the last full moon of 2023 is actually a full moon in cancer this has a lot to do of course with fantasy with illusions with the subconscious mind with your emotions dealing also with the mother the mother even representing feminine energy so you have a lot of men and women right now who are dealing with healing the healing of their actual feminine energy so you could have a masculine right now who's um their own feminine energy is a little bit distorted. So if your feminine energy is distorted, whether you're male or female, then the masculine energy is, is a bit distorted too because it's not balanced. So this could be a masculine right now who is experiencing a bit of distortion because either they are expecting too much and not knowing how to really receive it. And this could be due to the fact that maybe in the past, this person, they were over giving or compensating to a person that kind of drained them. I just heard drain them financially, drain them emotionally. Now this person, they're a little bit guarded. In fact, it's not even a little, they're very guarded. But the guard is naturally coming down, but it requires a bit of patience here. The eight of cups. Yeah, this person, now that they are recognizing the truth about whatever has been hidden for so long it's like the eight of cups wow they're moving on away from things that no longer serve them going towards the ace of pentacles this is good yeah nine of wands this person has been guarded and trying to protect themselves for a long time because obviously something happened to a person and this could be you or this person or maybe you both share this energy where something happened in the past and you feel the need to really to to protect and defend your own honor at all times because something bad has happened in the past that has caused some kind of major setback but the the ten of swords was the very first card out and here's the nine of wands so this is saying that when it comes to this cycle of 
you being tested and, and hurt and in fear, this is finally coming to an end. Wow. And then there's the Ten of Cups. Yay. That's nice. Ten of Cups. And the, oh, the star. This is so good. And the magician. You're manifesting like real wish fulfillment. Ten of Wands here. So this ten, ten, ten. I think we have everything except the Ten of Pentacles. There's three tens out here. So something is definitely completing. I feel like, again, this is like a cycle that's completing with you and another person. So if it's been difficult for you to get something off the ground with someone because you and or that person both have been, you know, struggling with old emotions, it feels like you're about to have a, a, an emotional breakthrough. Seriously, there's going to be a major breakthrough. So I will say really welcome whatever is, is going to be coming in, perhaps with like the upcoming full moon as well as this Mercury retrograde. Really use it to your own advantage, okay? If this is you, do the work. And if this is your person that's kind of struggling with this, give them that grace and mercy. Now, those of you who know <laughs> that um, you're being done wrong by a person, you know your intuition has told you this and you already know the answers that you are seeking. You know that it's time for you to move away from this person, this place, thing, or situation into something that is more aligned with you. Um, everybody's frequency is changing. I'm not really picking up on a lot of um negativity or, or or like toxicity here i'm just picking up on a lot of unhealed wounding and trauma that is affecting someone's forward movement but looking here you have skeletons are about to be revealed okay and this is necessary for someone to level up But somebody is being guided. You have here memory. So once again, that's like that Mercury retrograde energy. Somebody is reflecting now over memories. Maybe going down memory lane. And it's okay to reminisce because sometimes going down memory lane is going to help you look at a person, place, thing, or situations and get some type of clarity or insight that you didn't previously have that's going to help you to actually close that cycle out. Just because you revisit certain things from the past, even if you have a conversation with someone from the past, it doesn't mean that there has to be um, a, a reconnection or, you know, a recommitment to anything. It's you reconciling your differences, even if you're not actually connecting with that person. This is something that you have to do just for yourself. Third party. It's about, I feel like somebody is really, really reflecting on either the fact that they put someone in a third party or they know that a person put them in a third party. This says, enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are not, they're not like any other. So, but it says there is something or someone that is affecting your relationship. It's time to address it. Now, in this particular card, there is a, a woman here with two men. So some of you divine feminines, and I noticed in this card also with the memories, this is a this is a woman on these cards. You know, it, it could be this could be related to a man or woman watching. But for some of you who, you know, mostly divine feminine energy for a lot of the women watching, some of you, you really need to let go of your fear of um third party situations so that you can actually enjoy this person. Oh, this is so sweet because I feel like that's what you guys are. Wow. I promise I want to cry so bad. <laughs> like it just hit me. <laughs> Who I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Some of you are having a disharmony and conflict and chaos in your connections because you, you've been scorned in the past 
due to some kind of third party situation. And I feel this spirit is saying now it is absolutely time for you to release this. I was really picking up on this masculine energy before and I still am. But but the reason why spirit is telling us about this masculine, there is a masculine right now who I'm not saying that this person is perfect. OK, I'm not even saying that they are completely where you want or need them to be. But what I do see is that the the energy that I'm picking, this is the one who is they're They're willing. They're ready and willing to grow and to evolve and to heal. And they have the intentions to be really good to you but the queen of swords is here you could sort of be shooting this person down because of your trust issues but see what you don't recognize for some of you and i'm not really picking up a past person this feels for a lot of you like someone you're dealing with or someone that's going to come into your life okay you're dealing with somebody who has dealt with the same karmic type of energies and situations as you so this person is not here to mishandle your heart because they've had their heart mishandled before. The very first card that came out with the emperor is the ten of swords. This person has been betrayed. And to be honest, a lot of men, especially, you know, especially if you're dealing with like a, you know, a man of, of some type of, of, of value, they're they're not gonna be quick to tell you that that they got lied on you know lied to lied on cheated on and betrayed. The male ego doesn't really allow them to openly speak about that. But this person has been possibly holding back from you because they don't want to get hurt. And for some of you, you're not able to recognize that this person really has good intentions for you because you've been hurt. I feel like some of you need to take some time out with this four of swords though to reflect on the past and understand that the past, it does not have to repeat itself. You're going to have to allow yourself to welcome love and enjoy it without the fear of this going bad or going sour. Some of you, and I've noticed that this has been coming up a lot in the readings. Some of you are very, and, and now this is not everybody's reading because I'm not, I'm certainly not about to say, I'm not trying to minimize the people who, who know that you're in third party situations, but for some people, okay, make sure that you're not beginning to project your fears and insecurities of a third party onto a person to the point that if you're you know dealing with a person every person around them you're starting to feel threatened by those connections you know as a divine feminine a divine masculine you should have leveled up in your life now and, and be divinely guided enough to be able to have connections with people of the same sex and the opposite sex and whoever your person or your partner is, they should trust you. If you can't trust that a person understands personal boundaries and how to honor you and respect you, then that, that's, a, that's, that's a problem that needs to be addressed. And maybe that's not the right person for you. But I've noticed it in all the readings. It's like, you know, the mom, the sister, and this person. Some of you are coming out of toxic relationships, okay? Long cycles of third-party relationships and, you know, dealing with toxic families. Don't go into your new relationships thinking that you have to be afraid of a, a person having a close relationship with friends or family. Take the time out to assess and evaluate the situation don't go accusing a person and, and making a situation to be something that it doesn't have to be because I have to be, you know, y'all know how I am. If you follow me, I'm not ever going to just talk about the other person. I don't have a problem with saying when we as a collective, when we can possibly be in the wrong as well. And, and it's very easy to have fears about situations and begin to project those fears and, and it or your fear be so so strong that it will start to manifest in your reality some of you are so afraid that 
a person is going to lie or cheat on you or put their you know, ex or their friends or family before you that you're now, you're looking at every person around this person like they're a problem. And what that really is, is a lot of self-sabotage. Some of you, your connection is leveling up. You are leveling up. Your person could be leveling up. So, you know, take some time out to... To deal with your feelings about these past relationships where there were third party situations. Yeah, see, look at that. Building a future. And it's a vibe. This person is not like the past. This person wants to be devoted to you. But wow, magnetic souls and divine union, past life telepathy. Hello, enchanted love. Like you and this person are going through a spiritual awakening. So what's happening right now is you're going to have to learn that, yeah, you have trust issues. Okay, <laughs> I'm I'm talking to you. Whoever is watching, I'm talking directly to you. You have trust issues, and this person has trust issues too. Some of you, your trust issues started with your family, maybe even with your mother. Because I'm thinking a lot about this, like Cancer full moon. Your trust issues started a long time ago. You don't trust people, and then you know, obviously when. The majority of us, you know, a lot of us are, are black sheep of the family, whatever. When you have problems with trusting your own immediate family, you go out into the world and, and then you have piss poor relationships with people. You know, it's, it's heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak, failure after failure. It becomes very hard for you to trust. You're going to have to lean into an energy now of being able to trust and then also Understanding that when the, the chaos and the conflict, that when those negative energies are being sent to you, if you already have trust issues, it's amplifying things. And this is something that I've been noticing a lot because we talk a lot, oh, you know, they're doing moon magic. At some point, you have to recognize the rhythms, the cycles, and the patterns, okay? The moon magic or whatever is working because you still have some kind of unhealed wound or, or trauma that's there. You know, for people who want to be in serious partnerships, whether it's business, platonic or romantic. And especially those of you who want a life partnership with a person, you cannot live the rest of your life allowing chaos and conflict to come in and disturb you, the peace in your home. Every time it's, it's a moon out, it's a full moon. That means that you have something within you or your person has something within them that needs to be healed. You have to get to a point where you are completely untouchable and unbreakable by things that are happening spiritually and energetically. To That's going to put you into a cycle of self-sabotage. And that's why the temperance card has been coming out so much the last few weeks. I mean... We are in Sagittarius season, but the temperance energy is all about self-control and moderation, peace, balance, harmony, emotions, and your actions. You can't go out here and, and just because you see a person, they don't answer a call you. Oh my gosh, they're cheating. You know, if a person, you know, understand. And I just did a reading a few days. I'm like, okay, I do see red flags, you know, but sometimes there's way more green flags than the red. And sometimes when you see a red flag, you can't be so quick to jump to conclusions without all of the, the, the proper evidence and information that you need. You have someone here that actually wants to be devoted. You have magnetic souls, divine union, past life telepathy. This person and you are very much spiritually connected. It's an enchanted love. It's a very sacred bond or connection that you have with this person. They are 100% willing and ready to be devoted to you. They want to build a future, but it feels like here you get to thinking about situations that happened in the past when you were in a third party and it's easy for you to start ruining the vibe with this person. You turn into this queen of swords. Oh, you better not do this. You you know, don't play with me. You don't have to do that. Because what this is, is this is a lot of divine feminists who are still falling into masculine energy. You're taking action without the proper cause. Yeah, spiritual awakening. You and this person are going through a spiritual awakening, preparing for your harvest together. And yes, they are falling in love with you and you're falling in love with them. It seems like for some of you, this, this love 
got you kind of, you know, <laughs> tripping out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's old feelings here that, that some of you are needing to deal with. You know, it's some people in your life, like the feelings, they're never going to go away, but you're going to have to be able to separate the fact that, yeah, you have feelings for that person. They betrayed you, but you don't need to look for that past person and every person that you meet. And you also don't need to assume the worst about every person that you meet. For some of you, this is like your first time truly being with a divine flame. I mean, like somebody where you're aligned completely. Please don't sabotage the connection. Cloud nine is here. More than friends and acts of service. Mirror souls. This is yin and yang energy. This There's nothing wrong with this connection. What's wrong here is two people. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, yin and yang. <laughs> I said yin and yang because I saw mirrored souls earlier. Well, here it is. I see mirror souls, but at the bottom of the deck is yin and yang. This is really, really good, actually. Wow, and then wedding. Somebody's literally fantasizing about a wedding being in partnership with you. But you have your secrets. Somebody could have something that they're holding back and it's going to come out. Okay. But I feel more so like it's you and another person need to allow yourselves to both be vulnerable and just admit, hey, I've been hurt in the past. You know, maybe it's time for you to discuss with a person, especially if you're getting more serious with them talking about the future, what your triggers are so that they'll know. You know, and I'm I'm seeing a lot of stuff like with cell phones and so you know, I don't know. This could be cell phones, social media, things that seem small right now, but if it's a big deal, maybe you need to express it to a person. You know, hey, I, I noticed that the last time you went to the restroom, you took your phone with you. Why did you do that? You know, this person, it, it may not be anything, but because of your past, you're triggered by it. There could be something that you're doing that triggers this person. I see here communication and control. So for some of you, if you're the divine feminine, this masculine, they could be triggered right now by the way that you communicate because you may be communicating like a queen of swords. You may be coming off a little bit harsh and abrasive at times. You may be doing a lot to try to main, maintain control. Your tone of voice could be a problem for this. Whatever it is, you and this person need to meet in the middle because there's like this undeniable chemistry it's 100% like some kind of soulmate, divine counterpart situation that has a great potential, but there's healing here. You and this person need to understand that there's still some pain. You have here strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Hmm. You've done the work, so abundance flows to you now. For some of you... Hmm. For some of you, this may not be someone that's supposed to be in your life long term, but you need to be willing to take the lesson that they've taught you thus far. You are safe and divinely guided. So for some of you, you could even have a person in your life now or about to come into your life. They, they're going to play a huge, huge role in your spiritual awakening. It says both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. Wow. This relationship is mo moving towards a sacred union. It feels to me like a lot of you, you've met a person <laughs> and you didn't think that it would be much. I did see the more than friends cards. You didn't think that it would be much. And this is actually like your person. You're you're doing a lot of growing, developing and healing old wounds and like breaking hexes and curses. And you and this person are doing so much in the, the spiritual realm that is crazy. You have marriage, finances, and faith. So, yeah, wow, look, at the bottom of the deck, true love. This is a true love, faded, destined partnership. The love here is emotional, physical, and unconditional. There could be financial challenges. This person may not be telling you all the reasons why they're having financial challenges or you're not. Yeah, what, what you guys need to focus on right now is vulnerability and transparency. And the reason why this is a struggle is because you've gone through betrayals in the past and you're still afraid 
to really open up. Some of you are going to notice a huge shift in your connections when you just simply start saying how you feel. I'm not saying you have to put everything on the table at once, but for some of you, it's time for you to tell a person that you like them or maybe even that you love them. It's, it's just time for you to have the conversation. For some of you, somebody needs to go ahead and admit that something happened in the past and that is the reason why they don't trust easily. Some of you need to, you and this person may have a conversation eventually where you're discussing some type of childhood trauma or situation that, that occurred in the past that's actually really affecting you now. I definitely feel like you and this person both are holding on to some type of secret. And it doesn't have to be anything just terrible. It's just this person just may not understand why you're triggered by certain things and you don't understand what their triggers are. Wow. Cut the deck. Twin flame. Try something you've never done before. It's safe for you to, to talk to this person about things. But I get it. From what you've gone through in the beginning, here are the Ten of Swords. You feel like you're, you will, if you tell one more person something about yourself and they betray you, you're going to hit rock bottom and you're trying so hard to protect yourself. But you have her leap of faith. It says it is safe to make the move that you're considering. I feel like it's safe for you. Th this person is here to support you. And y'all know if I was picking up something bad, you know, I would be the first to tell you. <laughs> I would be the first. <laughs> uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to lie to you. That's not what I'm getting. I just feel like it's actually very beautiful that you and someone are both healing. You're, you're healing individually, going through a spiritual awakening, but it's strengthening your, your bond and your connection with one another. And, it's, and, and this is the case, even if you and this person do not end up, you know, together or marry. It's, this is just like partner for life, you know. Nostalgia. Past memories. Thinking about old times. Yeah. Somebody is very afraid to get hurt. But it feels to me like this Mercury retrograde for a lot of people is going to be a little bit different. I feel like a lot of people are going to reach a, a point of getting the real clarity and confirmation that they need for them to really forgive people and forgive themselves. And it's going to allow you to open yourself up to brand new experiences. Yeah, affection, touchy, feely, forehead kisses, romance, wine and dine. Yeah. I just saw boundaries. Yeah, it says here, um, stop, speak up. And if there is something that a person is doing that's making you uncomfortable, don't just tell them, oh my goodness, you're doing this and I don't like it. Explain why. Explain why there's a problem for you. It's Queen of Swords. You're, you're going to have to soften up. Use your feminine energy. physical distance or emotional distance so there's some kind of disconnect here yeah out of fear somebody is holding back and overthinking but you actually have an opportunity to be very happy here somebody is longing for you they desire to have this connection competition you have for it says eyes on another, multiple options, third party missing you. Somebody wants to have a union with you, and then you have clingy. So you have somebody right now. I mean, this is typical Mercury retrograde energy. Somebody is thinking about connecting with you. This could be a new person, and they may have someone from their past that is kind of tapping into their energy. Okay, or this is you. You and your person both are perhaps. Because you're finally meeting a person that makes you think about the future now, after being stuck on someone or in a cycle for so long, this right now 
is confusing for a lot of you. And this going back to, like I said before, about Neptune being direct now. Some of you thought that you could wait for a person. You thought that you could accept whatever they bring to you. Now you're like, eh, no, I, I really think I need to move on. I really think that I need to just go ahead and start over. And starting over is still going to be difficult because starting over means you have to be vulnerable. It means you have to take risk. You have to be open, honest, and transparent. And if you know for a lot of you, right, if you're not ready to do that, Please don't go out into the dating pool or whatever expecting to have this unconditional love when you are not willing to be completely vulnerable and transparent. Love is a huge risk. There's always the risk that you can get hurt. There are no guarantees in this at all. What's important for you to know, though, is that whatever happens, you're going to be fine. But you cannot, and, and I, I talked about this maybe two, two three weeks ago. I'm not going to sit here and bash people in these readings. When people choose to move forward, that's perfectly fine. Accept it. Deal with it. I'm not going to make every single masculine that I see out to be a lying, cheating, scheming, scamming, just scumbag. That's not, men and women both go through spiritual awakenings and have to heal. People fall on hard times. People have financial issues. People have family issues. It happens. But I'm also not going to sit here and pretend that every single person who is considered a divine feminine or masculine cannot sometimes be operating out of their shadow, out of fear of being hurt. Because that's what I'm sensing here. Somebody is afraid to get hurt. And whenever somebody thinks about moving forward, they're being attacked by their past memories of when they were in a third party situation. When they were neglected, when they were abandoned, when they were betrayed by past lovers as well as by family and friends. You got to let it go. It's, it's just it's, it's simple. You have to let it go. And you also have to stop giving people access to you. You have here friendship. Somebody does have like a, a friend that's in their, their friend group that is jealous of their connection and causing issues. Yeah, bad influences. Somebody has, um, this could be divine feminine, okay? Divine feminine you may not be seeing something clearly right now because your person is unfortunately being influenced possibly by a third party who could be a friend, family member, or lover, or this is you, okay? But Divine Feminine, it's like you're not clearly, you're not seeing right now that you actually have a huge blessing that's coming towards you. Yeah, you have for the runner. And you have the chaser and telepathy with coming forward. So for a lot of you, this, this is like a, a counterpart. Somebody is making plans to come towards you, though, once they get their finances together. But I feel like this person, they have a big decision to make, but they need to at least communicate to you. So for so what I'm getting here, I don't want to drag this out any longer. You have two people here who are really healing you're at the tail end of your healing journey of childhood drama inner child wounds or whatever but you and someone both have gone through situations I pick, i'm picking up on a masculine who may be having financial issues because of some kind of deception or betrayal in the past now they could have deceived someone someone could have deceived them they're going through karma right now they're learning a lesson and it's affecting their finances this person wants to make a commitment to you but they also want to build their their money they want to present themselves to you in their full masculine energy. They, this person doesn't want to present themselves to you distorted at all. And, and I feel like that's something that should be respected about this person. But then I'm also picking up a feminine here who is sort of operating out of the shadow, out of fear that this person who is coming towards you, whoever this person is that's coming towards you because of some of the financial or the family issues that they're having right now, you're questioning their motives, their intentions, and their commitment to you. And so if this person looks at you funny, if they 
don't call you every two hours or, or whatever it is that's triggering you, you're automatically assuming the worst about their dealings and their whereabouts. It's not so much this person. It's more so your fear of the of history repeating itself. So I, I'm really feeling that there is some projection and attacks that are happening that you need to be mindful of. Yeah, look at that cutting the deck. Commitment. This is a this is a, a offer of loyalty, commitment. It says celebration, good karma. But somebody here has options. So you have a choice between two people, but somebody here puts you through a lot of pain. And so now, yeah, you have a karmic partner here who has put you through a lot of pain. And now that it, that you're moving forward, you're still afraid. That pain is still affecting you. Because somebody here, you're very, very afraid to be deceived. Because you know for a sure fact now, you want a family, you want a home, you, you, you know, you want the things that, that you've always wanted. So there's a false, a false person that's been in your energy and they're probably stealing your energy, stalking you, spying and whatever. You're going to have to forgive this person and forgive yourself. You don't ever have to talk to them again or anything, but whatever they did to you, just let it go. Because if you don't, and th this keeps coming out, you're going to block. The person that truly loves you. And I do want to say. For some of you. Your true love could be a past person. You could be dealing with somebody right now. That is in your life. And you think that they're in your life. To teach you this and that. Maybe they are in your life to teach you something. But it could be preparing you. To go back to someone. That's not everyone's story. Some of you you're getting over a situation from the past. And you need to give someone new a chance. I feel like a lot of you have been dealing with casual relationships and here in whatever little roster or line up that you have, there's somebody here that actually is a great match for you. This is somebody though that you're constantly having conflict with, not because they're sabotaging you or you sabotage, it's you and this person are both sabotaging yourselves because there's unhealed wounds from your past relationships. So handle that, okay? Handle that. You got it. This is good. It's just a part of it. You know, think about it. People talk about wanting to be married and all that. The things that you're going to have to face in long-term partnerships, you have to be honest, open, transparent, and vulnerable, you know, to tackle the, the bigger things. This is just a, a lesson in communication, which makes sense considering Mercury retrograde. You know, it's all about communication. The last full moon we had was actually in Gemini, which is, you know, also Gemini being ruled by Mercury, also communication. So a lot of you guys now are learning to communicate, but this type of communication is triggering because it requires you to take a leap of faith to be vulnerable, right? But this is what's going to really, really awaken your spirit and your soul. And to me, that's true love. You're learning something that nobody has forced you to implement before. And you will know when you meet the right person because when it's time for you to compromise, you will know by their willingness to compromise. And you will also know by... Um, how they, because I'm seeing the acts of service, you'll understand your love language. Even if you're you're fussing, fighting, bickering with this person, your with your love languages, there's peace. You will see changed behavior, not just verbal apologies, but changed behavior and consistency. 